the changing in the caregiver roles um, in there, it's, they have to wear many different hats, and, and yet many of them embrace this, right? A lot of caregivers find an immense sense of um, gratitude and gratification, right, for the work that they do and that they're able to step in and help their loved one as they are, right? And although at first it might be a little bit unnerving because they don't know exactly what to do, hopefully with some support, right, and guidance and education, right, is that they can find their, their way as they learn to adapt and adjust into their new, new roles and new way of being. Some of the challenges then that, that the families um, face are when you look at their, first of all, you know, their, their home environment. Right? There's a fragmentation to the family system that can really happen there as they, they learn to adjust um, and adapt and grow to these roles. Throughout the previous nine weeks, Arun has been concentrating on improving the range of motion and strength in his arm. This week, he starts to work on the rotational movement of his forearm. This action is important if Arun wants to turn a doorknob or pour a glass of water, for example. Acquiring these skills would bring Arun closer to independence. He's also focusing on having more precise control of his shoulder by passing the ball through a loop before dropping it into the basket. Johnny has been back for a few weeks after being ill and has been doing his exercises in a sitting position. He's still regaining his energy. Johnny continues to work on elbow extension by placing the ball in his left hand in front of him and releasing the ball into the basket on his left. Nice and tall. Keep your head straight, okay? I like you to initiate the movement. Think about your shoulder and you're gonna reach for the ball. Okay, and you're going to squeeze it. I'm going to help you to maintain the arm in that position. Okay, I'm going to help you with the elbow. And then you squeeze the ball, lift, and replace the peg over here. Okay. Squeeze it. Good, squeeze. Now lift. There you go. All right. Okay, you need to get a very good squeeze first. Okay. Squeeze. Good squeeze. Perfect. So I'm maintaining your arm. You move. Let it go. One more time. Good squeeze. Very good. Within the last few weeks, Tulsi has progressed to an increased tension in the springs on the sable flex. This will help build more strength in his fingers. Tulsi continues to work on squeezing and holding the ball for five seconds prior to releasing it into the basket. Four, five, let it go. Relax your hand. Just relax your hand. Think about open up, open up. Yeah. You're almost there. You're almost there. Relax. Okay. Good squeeze. Move your arm. Week 11 offers more challenges to the clients. Arun is putting all of his hard work together and works on the fluidity of his movements. Arun shows the progress he has made when he waters the plants in the training room. Being able to complete this task is important to Arun because gardening is a passion of his.
Tulsi works at concentrating on squeezing and holding the ball for at least five seconds before moving his arm from front to side. Okay, one, two, three, go with a good squeeze. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Yeah, move your arm, move your arm. Okay, bring your arm back. Save Tulsi, there we go, here. Tulsi begins to demonstrate how far he's come along in the past 11 weeks when he shows functional movement in his left hand and arm while performing simple tasks. Johnny has also made tremendous strides in moving his left arm away from his body. Accomplishing this simple movement will allow Johnny to reach for objects that he would like to hold. Good. One, two, three. Squeeze. Good. One, two, three. Open. Okay, one, two, three. Squeeze. Good. Open, open, open. More, more, more. Good, strong squeeze. Much of Johnny's progress is revealed when he starts to show signs of functionality when he's asked to carry out a few simple tasks. Open up your hand, make sure that's good squeeze. Not look at your posture. Relax your fingers. Think about it. Open up your hands, relax your fingers. When I started, as much as I remember, sure that okay. there are movements I was not able to do. There are muscles that are not working. Movement was limited. My goal is to, I want to see that I'm improving. And I've accomplished that. And at the end, I can look back and I see what an improvement I made through several. When I go home, um, it gives me more freedom to reach, reach certain things which I couldn't do before. There's still the space to improve. If I see the improvement, that encourages me and I keep on going. But after using it, um, I see 